Hey, everybody. It is so wonderful to be here with you all. And I am so excited to be here with my friend, Ed Meyer, the owner and operator of Island Media Services. He's going to be one of our fantastic sponsors for the Total Business Breakthrough, which is a great new event we're doing on June 25th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Total immersive event where you're going to learn so many things on how you can grow your business, how you can grow yourself professionally, personally, and, and even learn some things about how to have better finances in your business. That's one of the things I'm really excited about. But my, I'm so happy that Ed is going to be one of our sponsors that day. He's, uh, you know, I look to Ed for so many things when it comes to graphic design, printing, and uh, promotional items. And and Ed, I wanted to just ask you, you know, first of all, how long have you, you know, what got you into Island Media Services to doing that? And then if you could follow up and share with us a little bit about the importance of keeping your brand consistent, anything around branding that you could tell us that could help us as small business owners. Great. Thanks, Joe. Um, and I'm so looking forward to this event. It's going to be great. Um, I started in, in marketing actually while I was still in college, um, I went to college for radio and television and between still being in college up until now, I've worked in me marketing through just about all forms of uh, quote unquote traditional media. So I have worked in marketing for television, for radio, uh, for print. Um, and how Island Media started was um, I moved here from Long Island and I was looking for a job and I hadn't come across a couple of things. And, through networking, some of the folks that I had worked with uh, up in New York said, hey, you know, we're working someplace new now and we don't have a marketing guy. Would you be willing to do our marketing for us? So that's how Island Media pretty much came about. Wow. We started our own company basically because a past folks we were working with asked us, uh, asked me, I should say, to, uh, to do their marketing. So we came up with Island Media Services. The name comes from the internet radio station I used to work, uh, I used to own which was Island Dreams Radio. Oh, cool. um, so we went with it. Um, yeah, we were with we were Island Dreams Radio. So Island Media Services just came on that. And the other thing I will say is um, I'm not the owner. I am a owner. I own the business 50-50 uh, with my wife, uh, Kate. So uh, we'll see both. We'll, you'll see both of us at, at, uh, at the event. Wonderful. Uh, as far as branding, Joe, brain one of the things the I really try to stress. Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. <laughs> um, one of the things I try to stress to people about branding is whether you're at a point in time where you can only do your own branding or where you're at a point in time where you can come to somebody like me who can help design and print uh, brochures, flyers, postcards, door hangers, uh, mailers, and stuff like that for you is consistency in branding. And what I mean by that is um, if you look right here, uh, there and this isn't easy to do backwards. <laughs> I see it. You see our little That's you see awesome. our little palm tree logo. Okay. Yeah. Everything that we do to promote ourselves has that logo on it. So by seeing just that palm tree, you'll start to associate island media services just by seeing that. And 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 oh I remember Ed, he had that he has that logo and he does this and he does that. So just like you, Joe, anytime you see Joe's little uh, uh, JN logo, which was amazing looking, by the way. I don't know who you had to do it, but it's great. Um, it, it makes you stand out. It makes you instantly recognize, oh, that's a Joe Navarro thing. Or uh, if you see it somewhere else and you're not necessarily with Joe, it, it, oh, you know Joe? You, you work with Joe? That's great. Um, so what I like to try and express to people is um, one of the things we do is what's called a branding sheet or a branding guide. We help you pick specific colors and specific uh, fonts and, of course, your logo. And that should all be consistent on everything you do. So from business cards to mailers to brochures, that should follow through. And we'll take a big company, and I hope I can do this without getting in trouble. We'll take a company like Pepsi. When you see that red, white, and blue logo with the name right. in the middle, even if they took the name out, your brain is going to go, that's Pepsi. You right. see a big yellow M on a background in red, you know who made that burger. 
you don't need to see the name. And that's kind of what branding should be for you and for anybody else out there who's doing it. Seeing that specific set of colors and seeing that logo or seeing that particular font set should instantly associate who you are and what you do. And it's one of the things we try to help folks with uh, in their marketing materials. I've had folks come to me with uh, trifold business cards and mailers. And if you just laid them out, looked at them, you would never guess they were all from the same company because Bob designed this one and he really liked that postcard. So that's what they right. used for the postcard. Mary designed this business card. So everybody used Mary's design for the, for the business card. They don't look anything alike. They don't relate to companies. You don't connect them. So would and you part say- part of your marketing should be a connection. Would you also say that it's important that uh, if you're going to do a brand, uh, do uh, a set of materials that you have one, uh, one person or one organization that's handling it so that it's all very like, you know, similar in uh, style? Joe, I'll be 100% honest with you. It would be beneficial to me to say yes to that. But just but the in truth general. of the matter is, in general, yes. In general, yes, because you're going to develop a relationship with them. They're going to know the look. They're, they're going to know the look that you like. So if we were working on marketing materials together, I would learn how you like things to look. I would learn what colors you like together. So I would be able to work with you more easily and create the marketing material you're looking for. Okay. But if you were to have a branding guide or branding sheet, you could go with somebody else and they would still be able to work with you and follow so your marketing material looks like everybody else, like the rest so of you. So there's our biggest takeaway. And I'm going to close it on that. The biggest takeaway is to have some kind of a sheet or some go-to that we could use that is are consistent for our brand, whether it's our colors, our fonts, our uh, the logo, all of that. Make sure you have one and maybe even the language that you're using, specific go-to phrases, okay? And uh, so that's the big takeaway is to have something that your designers, if you have 10 different designers, that they can all go to so that it's always keeping it consistent. Well, everybody, I'm so glad that, you're, that you stayed and listened to us today. And we're really excited to have you be with us on June 25th. Uh, again, I'll put the info in the chat below. It's the total business breakthrough.com. Remember, it starts with the, not just total, the total business breakthrough.com. But the info will be uh, below so you can go ahead and register. We can't wait to see you there. Ed, I can't wait to see you and your amazing wife, Kate, there on the 25th. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And we, we can't wait to see you there.